Parenting. In regards to developmental psychology, it is necessary to study the effects of the parent upon the child's environment. Since parental practices can influence the child's characteristics, temperament, and other developmental outcomes. This was noted in Belsky's model of the determinants of parenting, which built upon Bronfenbrenner's theory, since it also considers the role of the micro context encompassing marital status of the parents, relationships, and siblings, the meso context including extended family and neighbors, as well as the exo context like culture and social economic status. Which all has a role to play in the development of the child. The parents also bring in their own history of attachment, resilience, personality, and mental health issues, which may have an aversive influence on the child. Heinen Key et al. 1982 postulated that there were three positive predictors of adaptation to parenting, which included. The adaptation competence or ego strength of the parent, whether the parent is efficient, flexible, and non anxious to solving problems, the capacity for sustained relationships,、uh, which depends on how empathetic as well as the quality of the parent's own relationship with their partner and supportive networks. Self development is another thing to consider, which recognizes the autonomy and confidence of parents. Bomrand suggested that there were two intersecting dimensions that were important in child rearing, which included warmth and control. These looked into the quality of the interaction in the child parent relationships by considering how affectionate and supportive, as well as how limit setting, the parent was. Bomrand created a typology that categorized the parenting styles ranging from two dimensions, as discussed earlier. There are permissive parents who are not heavily into limit setting but do have high warmth. Authoritarian parents have a lot of control but no warmth is shown. Sometimes their style may be borderline abusive. There's also authoritative parents who are not to be confused with the authoritarian and they have both warmth and control, which is seen as being the most ideal. Finally, there is the uninvolved or neglectful, who have low warmth and control. Maccabee and Martin added two more dimensions, such as the clarity of communication, whereby a reason is given as to why there are, there are limits set, and maturity demands, where parents allow children to, task, to take some responsibility. Authoritative and authoritarian parents have high maturity demands. While the rest have very low. Only authoritative have clear communication, while the rest are low or mixed like the permissive parents. Parents are also seen as the managers of children's opportunities, whereby they monitor the children's choice of friends, social setting, and activities. Low monitoring was found to be correlated with antisocial behavior. Low academic grades and delinquency. Discipline and behavior regulation has to be appropriate to the risk and account for developmental needs. It can be punitive or too harsh and could result in over involvement or over protection. The outcomes of the parenting styles are summarized as follows Authoritarian parenting results in children who have an external locus of control. Low self esteem, fearfulness, neurotic behavior, low self regulation, and can become more conflicted. Authoritative parenting, on the other hand, results in more altruistic children who can negotiate, develop an internal locus of control, are highly competent, adaptable, and have low levels of antisocial behavior. Indulgent permissive parents are very warm. And tolerate child's aggressive and sexual impulses. They enforce little rules or punishment and make fewer demands. This results in more impulsive children who are demanding, dependent, more likely to be disengaged from school, have role reversal, whereby children regulate the parents' behavior, acting as、uh, their authority figure or structure, 
They, however, are strongly oriented towards peers and thus have high social competence, self-confidence, and are also feel closer to their parents. Uninvolved parents have children who are delinquent, have issues with relationships with peers, uh, low self-esteem, disruption in normal behavior, and are more likely to develop disorganized attachment. The issue with typological approach is that it doesn't account for a wide range of factors that influence parenting, such as the socioeconomic status, bi-directionality in how children also influences uh, parents to parent in a certain way, birth order and universality, or whether it is just limited in a certain culture. Researchers have to consider social changes or cohort effects which influence parenting such as the decline of marriage, divorce, delayed parenthood, and falling fertility rates. The family ecology such as religious beliefs, cultural values, and the work-family balance also needs to be considered. One also needs to consider the effect or the role fathers play in parenting. Their contribution influences children's self-regulation and risk-taking, considering appropriate uh, through rough-and-tumble play. Fathers also have protective effects that are compensatory, helping to aid uh, when the mother is unavailable or depressed. Divorce also negatively impacts parenting through effective spillover, which is the negative effect arising from marital conflict and spills into uh, parenting. In summary, this video covered Belsky's model of determinants of parenting, the positive predictors of adaptation into parenting like adaptation competence, the capacity for sustained relationships and self-development. Bormian proposed the extent of warmth and control exerted by parents, which culminated in the typologies of authoritative, authoritarian, permissive, and uninvolved parents. We also explored the outcomes as well as the issues with typologies in that various other factors need to be considered. Finally, we also looked at the role of fathers and effect of divorce. The source of this information is from my summary of the Psy 235 course, Developmental Psychology, from Macquarie University, 2018. Thanks for watching this video into parenting.